This is San Diego News Daily. Hello, welcome to San Diego News Daily. I'm Jackie Crail. Let's get to some headlines now. We're learning more about the Marine who died during a fighter jet training exercise crash this week. This is Major Andrew Mettler, who was assigned to Marine All-Weather Fighter Squadron 224. It's also known as the Fighting Bengals. He was the only person on flight. We spoke to his father, who told NBC7 he and his wife are devastated and their hearts are pouring out for their son's wife and three children. This morning, a potential health risk for San Diegans in the South Bay is finally over. The boil water advisory has been lifted. It was initially put in place Thursday after E. coli was found in the water supply at a testing site. And for those with homes in the affected areas, California American Water recommends customers flush their plumbing, which means running all faucets, for five minutes each. They also recommend tossing ice from ice makers. After the mess Hurricane Hillary left in our county, dozens are helping keep our local bays and shorelines clean. Operation Clean Sweep is an annual cleanup organized by the Port of San Diego and other groups. Volunteers, including several members of the U.S. Navy and Coast Guard, clean up at multiple locations across the county. Yesterday, people gathered to help. No word yet on how much trash was picked up, but organizers say each year, Volunteers pick up over 20,000 pounds of trash. And all month long, we've been introducing you to pets. We're hoping to get into new forever homes. It was all leading up to the Clear the Shelters event taking place all over San Diego yesterday. NBC7's Sheena Parveen was at the San Diego Humane Society with a look at just some of the families who adopted a new pet. What a happy baby. He found a home. He's a shepherd mix and uh, his name's Maverick. She found a home. I just adopted little Hazel. She's a sweetheart and um, I have a dog at home, a Sheba that needs a little sister. So I'm really excited to bring her home. He found a home. We're adopting Oliver. And she found a home. Freckle. Yeah, her name is Freckle. <laughs> We're a cat family. We have two other cats at home and uh, we just we, we wanted to add to the family. This is the ninth year of Clear the Shelters, NBC Universal's big pet adoption push, and probably the most important one. More animals than ever before are crowding shelters nationwide. Here at San Diego Humane Society, there are over 1,000 of them. We're heartbroken by the statistics of how many homeless animals there are and how many, you know, animals won't find homes. Now, because of Clear the Shelters, all kinds of animals are finding homes. The little one with the white actually threw herself into the cage towards me with both arms, almost like she was just ready to give me a hug and... Yeah, and hit her little yeah, head. She was yeah. so excited. <laughs> with all the excitement, you still can't help but to notice dogs like Ryder. The shelter's been his home for almost an entire year. He's smart, loyal, and he's learned a lot of tricks thanks to the volunteers. Yeah. But it is time for Ryder to find a home. He deserves one. And so do all of the other long-term pets here. We've got animals that have been here for 10 months, a year, a year and a half. We really want to get those animals into people's homes and have them get a chance. It, it hurts when they're here that long. We don't want the Humane Society to be their home. We want living rooms to be their home. You have until the end of the month to take advantage of the reduced adoption fees at San Diego Humane Society to give a loving home to an animal in need like this sweet girl Darla. She's looking for a loving home. Sheena Parveen, NBC7. Meteorologist Brooke Martell will have a look at your weather right after this. NBC7 News at 11 p.m. Ask the deeper questions about the day's big stories because you need more than just headlines. Now an update to a story we first brought you last night. We investigated to see what this could mean to you. It's our commitment to provide you with this fresh perspective every night because coverage you count on is only here. NBC7 News at 11 p.m. I'm NBC7's Brooke Martell. Let's get you caught up on your area forecast as we round out the weekend on this Sunday. You can see temperatures along the coastline from the 70s to the low 80s. Much warmer across our Inland Valley communities will be right around those 80s up to the low 100s for places like Ramona. Mid 90s today for the mountain communities, just shy of triple digits for Campo. 111 is what we're anticipating today for Borrego Springs. Looking ahead to your Monday, we will be under an excessive heat warning for our Inland Valley communities as well as our desert 
desert region. Check out these temperatures 112 to 117 degrees possible. This uh, warning will last until Tuesday night. At the same time here, you can see for the inland valley communities, we could be within the low 100s up to 107 degrees. We'll also be under a heat advisory. This will start also on Monday morning, last until Tuesday evening, and it is for your mountain communities. Temperatures there from the low to upper 90s and just a preview of Tuesday into Wednesday. Once those warnings in that advisory expires, you can see daytime highs gradually start to taper, but you'll feel those cooler conditions as we look ahead to the end of next week. I'll send it back over to you. Okay, thanks, Brooke. Don't let the weather get in the way of your plan. SeaWorld has extended its ticket policy, allowing guests to return to the park if their day was ruined by severe weather. Eligible guests can use their ticket within 12 months of when they originally bought it. And there's more coverage you can count on at NBC7.com. You can always find us on your Roku or Samsung Smart TV app. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jackie Craig.